guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing three demos on the ColourPop Yes Please palette. In my ColourPop palette guide video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see three demos on the Yes Please, I Think I Love You, and also the She palette. And literally, the response from you guys was crazy. Every other comment was like, yes, we want to see three demos. So here I am doing the first palette. We're going to kick off Yes Please off the list first because I feel like this was the first palette that they launched and... Also, I just feel like a lot of you guys would have this palette because it is their best seller. So yeah, I created three looks with this palette. This video is specifically just going to be three demos. I am not going to be doing any review portion in this video because I did do a dedicated video to this palette and also in my ColourPop palette guide review, um, I did talk about this palette and why I like it. So if you guys are new to my channel and you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, I will leave those related videos down below. So yeah, I am going to be doing I Think I Love You and also the She palette. That one is coming your way very soon. I think I'm going to do I Think I Love You first and then the She palette. Honestly, I wasn't going to do the She palette at one point in time because it is a discontinued eyeshadow palette and you guys can't buy it anymore and I was thinking, why would I do a video on something that's discontinued? But a couple of you guys have said that you guys own this palette and you don't know what to do with it. So for that, I am going to end up just doing the She palette as well. That is pretty much all I want to discuss in the intro of this video. Also, I want to know your favorite out of the three. Let me know in the comments down below. Look one, look two, or look three. Which one was your favorite? But yeah, I'm gonna start rambling now and let's just go ahead and get started with the three demos. So to get started with look number one, I'm taking the shade GNO and I'm going to put this straight into my crease with a fluffy brush. I'm going to use windshield wiping motion and slowly transition into circular motions to get the perfect blend, but putting this straight into my crease. And then I'm taking the shade Champs to further blend the first transition shade we placed down, just going over this around the edges with a bigger, fluffier brush, just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. Taking the shade Spoiled on my Morphe M573, I'm going to start packing this all over my eyelids. I'm going to try not go above the crease so that way we still can have that orange peeping through and it's kind of working as like a sunset. So I'm going to pack it on first and then start blending it out into the transition shade. I like to go back and forth with my brushes so I'll pack it on, go back with my blending brush, so on and so forth. That way we're not losing the color but still getting a good blend. Next up, I'm taking Louis and I'm going to start placing this firstly on the center of my lid and then whatever is left on my brush, I will drag it out to the inner and outer corner of my eye. Then I will be taking the shade Butter Cake and on a smaller brush and I'm really really going to focus this on the center of my eye, whatever's left again just blend it out on the edges. I'm also going to use the shade to highlight my brow bone and also my inner corners as well but this shade is really just going to bring out those gold reflexes in the shade Louis. Going back with the shade Spoiled, I'm going to use this shade for my lower lash line. I'm just going to run this from outer corner to inner corner, connecting it to the eyeshadow that we placed on top. So to finish off this look, I added a wing liner off camera. I also added a white eyeliner in my lower lash line. The lashes that I'm wearing are Serene Light from House of Lashes. And then my lip color is Must by 3 Concept Eyes. Thank you. 
Okie dokie, look number two, I'm going to start off with the shade called Note to Self as my transition shade. Every time I place a transition shade, it's going straight into my crease, windshield wiping motions first, and then um, circular motions later to get that really blown out effect. So yeah, this step is always the same. Next, I'll be taking the shade Spoiled and I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush and focus this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm first going to kind of like C motions and I'm bringing it into the inner corner slightly, but mainly focusing the product on the outer corner first and what is left on my brush, bring it into the inner corner of my eye. I just like to go back and forth with this, just really packing on the color, building up the intensity. And sometimes when I do this, the transition shade kind of just disappears, so I like to go back in with my first brush and just bring that color back. And then I'll be taking the shade French Kiss on a very dense pencil brush, and I'm first going to just map out the outer third. I'm kind of going into like a C shape, and I'm gonna wing it out a little bit as well, um, because I don't want to do wing liner for this look. I'm doing more of like a smoky wing, so I'm just going to like do the kind of shape that I would do when I do like a wing liner. It's really hard to explain, I feel like it's easier if you just watch what I'm doing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Taking the shade called Bling, I'm going to place this on the inner corner of my eye, meshing it into the dark brown that we just placed on the outer corner. Also when I do use these metallic shades, I do wet my brush, that way there's just a little bit less fallout and also you get the most metallic shine of it, um, so I always wet my brush. But if you don't wear your brush, it's still a beautiful, beautiful shine either way. Taking the shade Spoiled once again, I'm going to be running this on my lower lash line, outer corner to inner corner. You guys know I don't like to do much with my lower lash line. Going back in with the shade French Kiss, I'm just going to slowly define that lower lash line first with a really fine angled brush and then going back into my pencil brush to really just smoke it out and connect it with the wing on top. And to finish this look off, I did do some wing liner, but as you can tell, I smoked it out. For my lashes, I am wearing Serene Light once again, and on my lips, I am wearing Smoked Rose by 3 Concept Eyes mixed with Mrs. from Colourpop. Okay, let's get started with the last and final look. I am taking the shade Big Cocktails and this is going to be our transition shade. You guys know what I'm going to do, windshield wiping motions into the crease and then circular motions. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Champs once again on a bigger fluffier brush and I'm just going to use this to blend out the outer edges. I feel like these kind of shades are good shades to blend out your transition shade like even more around the edges. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Spoiled and I'm going to start placing this on the outer third of my eyes, kind of in like circular motions in a C formation. And what is ever left on my brush, I just like to bring it into the inner corner of my eye because we do want some depth in the inner corner because we are doing a cut crease. Thank you. 
I'll be using the shade French Kiss to deepen up the outer third of my eye once again and I'm mainly focusing this like more onto my lid I'm not gonna bring it up too high And now for the fun part, we're going to start cutting out our crease. Take any concealer of your choice and just place it where you want it. So I am doing a half cut crease, so I'm only going to place it on the inner corners of my eyes first. And I'm just going to place it where I think I need to, just going a little bit above my natural crease. And then I will look up and this is going to mark where the highest point of my crease is, if you know what I mean. So if I go where that line is, there is going to be no transfer of glitter um, so you just want to make sure you go above that mark and you should be good I like to go in with more of a thinner paintbrush and just define that crease a little bit more and I feel like using this paintbrush does a world of a difference and makes it very crisp and very clean And then I'm going to be taking the shade Chauffeur and this is going right on top of the concealer. I'm just going to place it all over where the concealer was placed. Um, also again, I am using a wet brush to do so. And also another tip when you are doing a cut crease, I would recommend just doing one eye at a time. Don't go putting concealer on both eyes because the concealer is going to start creasing, it's going to get tacky. You just want to apply the shimmer shade immediately after you place it down. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Butter Cake and I'm just going to place this all over. I feel like it just really makes the gold pop up a little bit more and it's just more glittery and I feel like this step is just very much needed and it makes the crease just really pop out. And then I'm going to take some of the shade Sport, which is the red eyeshadow, and I'm just going to dab this between the yellow and the brown, kind of where they meet. And this is just going to blend the two shades together, infuse them, and also giving it a gradient at the same time. And then taking a very small detail brush, I'm just taking a teeny weeny bit of stark brown, and I'm just going to go around the cut crease just to deepen up a little bit. And then taking the shade Spoiled once again, as you can tell, this is one of my favorite shades from the palette. But I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line once again, outer corner to inner corner, connecting it with the eyeshadow on top. Taking French Kiss, I'm going to use a very thin angled brush and I'm going to push this against my lower lash line. I just kind of want to balance everything out so I just wanted to create a little bit more depth on the lower lash line. So this is demo 3 completed. I just gave myself a wing liner off camera. The lashes that I'm wearing are the Iconic Lights and my lip color is Must by 3 Concept Eyes. And that guys is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy those three demos. Let me know again which one was your favorite in the comments down below. Mine was obviously demo three. I just love a good half cut crease. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!